In this presentation, we are going to look at how soil erosion happens. At first, I will explain a bit what it is, and after that, I will show you an experiment that everyone can repeat at home. So what is soil erosion? Erosion is a natural process where soil particles and nutrients are taken away by water or wind from, for example, a grain field and deposited into a water body like a lake or a river. Soil particles and nutrients are needed on fields so that plants can grow better. In small amounts, they also help for water plants and animals, but in large amounts, they can create problems. A strong erosion can deplete the soil, like it is seen in the pictures here, where water has removed soil particles from agricultural fields. A strong erosion can also pollute the water, making it muddy, like in the picture on the left. And it can also add too many nutrients into the water, which can cause algal blooms. The satellite picture on the right shows an algal bloom in the Baltic Sea. When these algae decompose, oxygen, which is needed for fish to breathe, is consumed, causing problems for the fish. But as I said, erosion is a natural process. The strength of it depends on many soil properties. In this experiment, we will compare the vulnerability of two soils to erode. So, the things needed for the experiment are two one and a half liter plastic bottles with one side cut open, like the ones you see in the picture. Two types of soil. We will also need two transparent containers and at least 300 milliliters of water for each bottle. So, let's look at the experiment. So, in conclusion, we saw that grassland soils are more resistant to erosion than garden soils. The reason for that is a thick root mat, which helps to keep the soil particles together. We also saw that grassland soils take up more water than garden soils. This is also an effect of the root mat, which helps to create more small pores that hold on to water more tightly. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. At home, I suggest you to use additional soils, like soil mixed with rocks and soil mixed with leaf litter and branches, you know, like the ones you can find in a forest. And then, with the help of the experiment, determine which soil is most resistant to erosion. Have fun!